G'day, I'm Andrew Barnes from SIGWELD, and today we're going to talk about the all new released Easy Weld 130 MIG welder with quick set and plate thickness control. It's new to market and it's a great little machine. Let's get into it. So we've got the machine out of the box and this Easy Weld 130 comes with a, a few things you need to know about. It comes with a three metre MIG gun. It's connected directly to the machine. It comes with a work lead and clamp. It's a three metre length as well. And that has a quick connector that's put in the front of the machine and twist and turn and lock. It comes with two feed rolls. It comes with a spare feed roll and it comes with two spare contact tips. It's a very easy to use machine and can be set up in three simple steps. So step one, you need to decide what wire you want to use, whether you want to use gasless flux cord wire or gas shielded solid wire where you need a gas cylinder and a regulator and a hose. So in this particular case, I'm going to set the machine by pressing the soft button to gasless because it'll make it much easier to set up and run. The machine is actually already preset inside with the gasless roller. Step two is then to decide on the wire diameter side. So by pushing the needle encoder control knob, you can scroll through the different features and I back to wire and I change it from 0.8 to 0.9 and today I'm gonna to be using 0.9 gasless. Click it in. Step three now is deciding on the plate thickness that you want to use to weld. And this is where this machine is much better than most other machines on the market where you have to guess, you don't have to guess anymore. So to make it easy, I have a, a vernier caliper. This will tell me the, the thickness of the steel. And I grab some steel out the front. I can have a look at it. I measure it. And straight away, I know that is three millimeters. So therefore, if I dial my machine up to three millimeters, it's ready to weld and the three steps are now complete. So the Easy Weld 130 is a machine that's designed to run on 230 volt and 240 volt, 10 amp single phase power. So I'm gonna use gasless wire today. I've got some 0.9 there in gasless and I've got some 0.8 there in solid wire for gas, but I'm gonna use the gasless. To load it up, we've got to make sure that we get it into the machine correctly and make sure that the feed roller um, is, is the right way up for this particular diameter wire. Um, so the machine comes with two feed rolls. It's got one on there already, which is the gasless one, and it's got one for solid wires. So I've undone the little captive roller cover by turning it anti-clockwise and pulling it up. I can then take the feed roll off, and it's got two sizes listed on it. It's got 0.8, with a K for knurl, and 0.9 for knurl. So I want the 0.9 up because that's closest to the inlet guide, which is this little piece here, and the outlet guide. And, and up is the right position for the wire size. Then I put that back in. I put the retaining cap back on and then turn it clockwise and it's now set ready to go. And now I've got to get the wire in the machine. I need some pliers to be able to cut the wire and straighten the wire ready to go through the, the, the MIG gun. You take the wire off a little bit, making sure that you're holding the wire very carefully so it doesn't uncoil, because this thing goes off like a spring and <laughs> you could lose your wire very quickly if you don't hang onto it very tightly. It'll loosen off the captive screw here. Take off the little washer. Put the wire, it's a 100 mil diameter roll of wire, onto the post, holding the wire, put the top part of the post back in, putting the captive nut back on. And now I can feed the wire through the inlet guide, over the roller, and into the outlet guide of the, of the gun. Okay, I just roll a bit more off, poke it through a bit further. I'm trying to poke it through about 
200 millimetres or 300 millimetres of the length of a ruler, standard school ruler. I put the top idle roller back down and put the pressure screw back into place. And that pressure screw is a pretty important part and we'll talk about that further once we get the wire to come through the mid gun. So there's a couple more things we need to do to get this right before we can weld. You've got to make sure we've got the right polarity selection. Now in your instruction manual, it'll tell you that for gasless wire, that little lead needs to be in the negative terminal and the return lead and clamp needs to be in the positive terminal. And you can see the terminals very clearly, they've got a positive and negative on them. So I'm going to put the return clamp and lead there. That one goes into the negative, and now I'm set up correctly for gasless MIG wire. So to make sure you get the right polarity, check the operating manual, and it will tell you that the machine has to be in positive or negative, depending on the welding process that you're doing. The MIG gun, it's got a nozzle on it, gas nozzle. So take that off for a second, and then there's a copper tip. That tip is called the contact tip. You need to put them in quite firmly and tight when you're ready to weld. So I'm going to unscrew it for a reason, and that is to get the wire out. But I'm also going to check and make sure it's the right diameter. And it's actually stamped on it and it says 0.9 millimeter. So that's great. That's the one I need for that wire. Now I want to get the wire through. So I pull the trigger and the wire will come through, but it's moving very, very slowly. So to get it to come through faster, I can toggle the control knob down to WFS slash amps, which means wire feed speed. And I'm gonna increase that wire feed speed to maximum just to get the wire through for the start. And have a, have a listen now, you'll see that it comes out a lot quicker. Has a slow start, ramps up. Here it comes. Okay. The wire's through. I'm going to put the contact tip over the wire, screw it back into the actual tip holder. The nozzle goes back on over the top. And we just trim the wire so it's very close to the end of the tip, about three millimetres. Righto, so we've just got the wire through the mid gun um, and we're getting very close to being ready to, to weld but we'll just reconfirm the, the three steps. So we've got the machine in gasless, that's great. I've got the white, right wire size, I'm running 0.9 wire. I'm gonna be welding some three millimeter steel. So I've got it set for three millimeters. And then there's two other settings underneath. One says wire feed speed and one says bolty or bolt trim. And they're for fine tuning the machine, unlike a lot of other machines on the market of this same size machine, which don't allow you to do this. So I'm back to the three mil, and it goes down to one mil, up to three mil, in various different stages. But I've got some six millimeter here, and this machine is capable of welding six millimeter. And to do that, you need to go down and change it in the manual settings to maximum. So it's Y feed speed, that's the preset setting for three mil. We just wind it up to maximum, which is eight. You go to the voltage selection and confirm that's in maximum as well, which it is. And now the machine's ready to weld six millimeter steel anytime you like. One more thing before we start welding is to get the wire tension correct on the MIG gun. And to do that, you need to do it safely. And the best way to do it is to have a, a nice leather MIG welding glove on your hand. I'm putting it on my left hand because I'm a right-hander. You open up the cover and we're going to have to maybe adjust the wire tension screw. So to check the tension on the wire, you push the wire through with the MIG gun, you bend it over and you put that in your hand and hold it. I'm away from the actual steel bench, pull the trigger, and the machine should push the wire out so it coils up in your hand like that. That's when you know you've got enough tension, okay? 
If you don't, then you can tighten up the pressure screw. We've got the machine set up. We've talked about increasing the, the wire feed speed and, and voltage trim to maximum to weld thicker materials. There's also a very handy setup guide inside the case of the machine, which talks about what settings you can set to weld different materials other than just standard mild steel. On the setup guide, it talks about aluminium, stainless steel, and how to set those per parameters up to weld those metals. And it also talks about how to set the machine up in gas and gasless wires that go heavier than three mil steel. If you think welding was hard, not anymore. Not with the Easy Weld 130 machine. Really easy to use and set.